high there. Wow, these earrings have really got the wow factor, Debbie. They're really sparkly and fun, aren't they? Yeah, they're gorgeous. What do we need for these? Okay, to make these, you need an earring finding. You need a jump ring. You need a, a, a head pin. Mm -hmm. Two large beads, a selection of l tiny little beads, mm -hmm. and some nylon thread, or Perfect. some monofilament. Okay. All right. So, where do we start? The nylon thread is a very, very fine, fine thread that's very useful for tiny little beads. Okay. Tiny little beads. So, I'm going to show you how to thread those on now. Um, even if you have some beads that have got tiny, tiny holes, this is perfect. Brilliant. So, I have counted here approximately nine beads that I know is going to sit really nice and snug against the two larger beads. So I've put these onto a length of monofilament and I'm just going to tie a knot just to form a little circle like so. Now if you're a bit worried about that coming undone you can put some glue or some clear nail varnish on there, it's really up to you but if you give it a really good pull it should be fine. And then using your cutters you can cut that as close to the knot as you can and you've got this lovely little circle okay. of beads yeah so the next thing i need to do is take my head pin feed on one of the larger beads my little circlet of beads and my other large bead and you'll see that just fits just nicely around the center brilliant yeah okay then i'm going to push that head pin over to the side, cut approximately one centimetre from the bead and hold on to the piece you're going to cut. There we go. Take your pliers, place them onto the end. So those are your round nose pliers. That's right. Okay. And then kink it into a little curve and then round into a circle. So to make this look a little bit different to the earrings um, that you might normally make, we're going to add a little jump ring, which will just make them swing a little bit more. Oh, okay. All right, like so. And then that will then go onto your earring finding. So I'm just going to pop that down for one second. So you've closed that using the flat nose pliers, and you've have, and you've got the got the flat nose pliers again. And I'm yeah. going to open this like a door. You open and close, open again, and I'll take my jump ring. Yeah. And I'm going to close that with my flat nose pliers again. And there is your finished earring. Gorgeous. And there we go. And you just repeat that again for the other earring. Exactly the same. Thank you so much for showing us that one, Debbie. That's great.